You can add player commands to the Music One format clocks. These things give specific instructions to play out one to do certain things at certain times in the hour. To add a player command, click the Add Format Clock Item button on the right side of the screen. Click the Special button, select Player Command, and Add, and Close. Right-click on the name that is added to the clock and select Properties. There are 15 different commands in this list. Most of them, most people don't use. You can read about them all in the Playout 1 documentation. The two commands that are most commonly used are those for time updates at the end of the hour. These things are sometimes called hard sinks and soft sinks. Playout 1 calls them hit marker and soft marker. It's common for commercial radio stations to overschedule their hours a bit. That is, they format for more than 60 minutes of content in a clock, as I've done here. The reason for this is the amount of advertising content will vary from one hour to the next. So the music director formats an extra song or two to ensure that the hour won't come up short. I have this clock formatted for an average of 61 minutes of content. Each hour where the clock is used will be a little more or a little less than 61 minutes depending on the length of the collection of songs that gets dropped into the slots. The commands in Music 1 will tell Playout 1 what to do at the end of the hour. Let's say in one hour, an oldie starts at 58 minutes past the hour, and that song is three minutes in length. That would have the song coming to an end one minute into the next hour. So a choice will have to be made at the end of the hour. Should play out one, let that song finish playing entirely, or should it fade the song away on the last second of the hour and then jump to the first unit of the hour that follows it? I'll add a hit marker here and click on the Start Time tab and in the nominal time box, I enter 5959. I then click a check into the box to report nominal in automation log. Now what will happen is, on the last second of the hour, Playout 1 will fade down the song that is playing and immediately launch the first unit of the next hour. This is important if you have to join a network feed at a specific time. If you do not have to have the next hour start at exactly the top of the hour, then make this a soft sync, a soft marker. A soft marker will allow whatever is playing at the end of the hour to finish. It will then jump to the first unit of the next hour. This will work even if you overschedule the clock by a large amount. I'm going to add a few more units to this clock. And I put the soft marker at the end of the hour. And now, if I format 70 or 80 minutes of content in this clock, whatever might be playing at 59.59 will finish. Playout 1 will then drop the overscheduled, unnecessary content and launch the first unit of the hour that follows it.